Hello guys, Viewer in London here. My name's Andrew. My name is Ingrid. And today we're going to be reviewing five of our favourite Joe Loves fragrances from this fantastic discovery set. Number one on our list is Joe by Joe Loves. Ingrid. <laughs> Joe by Joe Lots fragrance is uh, launched in 2018 and it is fresh, citrus, aromatic, scent inspired by Joe Malone's lovable citrusy smells. Sounds all right. Okay, fragrance notes are top notes of grapefruit, bitter orange, lime and spearmint. Mid notes is Hedion, the one I can never say, but it's kind of a jasmine, fake jasmine, aphrodisiac, some people say, and black pepper. And base notes is, God, Joe Malone, guaic wood, Cedar and vetiver. So, shall we give it um, a spray? Oh, yes, please, Ingrid. Come on. You spray yourself, my oh, darling. It's, it's just me. We'll, <laughs> we'll save an arm for me. There we go. Right, you go first, my love. What do you think? Hmm? Already smells really nice. It does. It's very, very fresh, very bright and punchy, citrusy opening. That's uh -huh. what I'm getting in the first notes. Yep. yep. Which is kind of right, isn't What's it? What's expected? I'll dive in. <laughs> yeah, it's certainly grapefruity, limey. Um, I'm not getting much pepper or anything yet, but it's probably a little bit early days. Yes. But I'd say open in if you agree, Ingrid. Sort of bright, citrusy, very nice. So shall we let it dry down now and... Yes, madam. We're going to come back in 10. So, 10 minutes later, Ingrid, how's it coming on? Well, after 10 minutes, the the punchiness of citrusy nose mm -hmm. has gone, so mm -hmm. it's it settled down, they're much milder, a mm -hmm. little bit of spearmint mm -hmm. in the background and some woods and some spices, that's mm -hmm. what I'm getting, but it's really gentle, it's mm -hmm. really gentle. Give me an arm. <laughs> yep, yeah, Ingrid's bang on. It's um, citrusy, sort of like limey grapefruit with a little bit of pepper and Mild mint, but it's certainly not strong. It's not got some huge projection mm. or siage, so no. uh, it's probably like a summer daytime fragrance or in the office that kind of thing. Yes. What, what do you think? Yeah, it's, more, you it's it? more of a skin scent after a while, mm. and it, it is perfect for day to day wear, like you know, out in the town, mm -hmm. go to work, yeah. you know, around the office, as, as Andrew said. It's perfect for that. Yeah, it's not super punchy. So if you're looking for something that's going to project a bit and get you noticed, I don't think it's it. But mm. it's certainly, certainly very, very pleasant. Easy going fragrance for, you know, daytime. Yeah. So Ingrid, what do you think for when to wear, season to wear and longevity and all those kind of questions? Um, seasons to wear, in my opinion, would be more spring and summer months. Yeah, totally. When it's like mm -hmm. warm weather, mm -hmm. so, you know, mm -hmm. it kind of refreshes you. Um, longevity, three plus hours, yep. maybe four. Yeah, the four bush. at a push. I think it's quite yeah. light, actually, to be honest. And um, from wearing wise, I've already chucked in not, like an office scent because it's quite yep. discreet. Um, anything else would, would you wear it to? Well, it's just, you know, day to day, you're yeah. either going mm -hmm. to work or around the town, you know, for out for the afternoon tea Ooh, or nice. just around the house, you okay. know. Is just... that a subtle hint? I've got to take you for <laughs> afternoon tea now. Oh. Number two on our list is orange butterflies. Ingrid? Orange Butterflies was launched in 2018 and it is citrusy floral fragrance um, with the main note of orange. Orange, yes, and no butterflies were harmed in this <laughs> making this perfume, I believe. Top notes are mandarin orange and petit grain, which is like a citrusy floral kind of scent. You've got mid notes of orange blossom, no surprise there, and we've got base notes of neroli. So, we have a sample here to try. Yep, let's get spraying. Shall we red. give it a spray? Oh, it's a bit of a slow one, that one. Oh, wow, I smell that already. But you, you carry on. I'm, I'm going to zip it. Oh, I like it. Mm. Oh, it's really nice. It's so, sort of citrusy, zingy, um, more orangey, a mm. bit more sweeter opening, which is really lovely. Absolutely. Can I have a quick go, Ingrid? Yeah, that's actually very nice. It is very orangey. I can picture an orange. It's sweet, orange. That's all I'm getting at the moment. Mm. Not like I was not seeing any florals or anything yet, but... Yes. Um, should we give it 10 minutes? Yeah, we should. We'll be back in 10. 10 minutes has passed. Ingrid, what do you think? Well, I'll let you go first. Oh, wow. With your opinion, I mean. Thank you. <laughs> I've already smelled my arm. Yeah, okay. So hold that thought. Um, for me, it's certainly, it's just very orangey, a little bit floral, but more orangey, zesty um, than floral, in my opinion. Very nice, bright and cheerful. Yes, it is very, very happy fragrance, by the way. Um, it smells, it's kind of sparkly, jumpy kind of scent. It smells of oranges. 
still yeah you know, it didn't go anywhere yeah. because you know it's got the essential oils and all this um it's really nice and happy fragrance it is so darling as for season to wear longevity all those kind of questions well a citrusy fragrance is perfect for spring and summer months mm -hmm. yeah agreed very very uh ideal for summer holidays yep in my opinion Holiday scent, uh nice. it stays on skin about three hours yeah sounds fair number fair. three on our list is white rose and lemon leaves ingrid White Rose and Lemon Leaves fragrance was launched in 2015 and it is citrusy, rosy and fruity fragrance. We have top notes of lemon peel and the leaves, two for the price of one. Got mid notes of White Rose and Rose Absolute, another double there. And we have base notes of cedar. Nice. Shall we have a try, darling? Oh, yes. Well, can we we'll spray try, me? Will that be okay? We'll try. Nice yeah, we'll clean spray arm. You. Give it a good up squirt for me, darling. Thank you. You even got the, you even got the light there. <laughs> I'll let you go first, my love. Oh. I can smell it from here. Oh, I, oh, that is divine. That is absolutely oh, divine. The opening that, is That is very amazing. nice. Yes. yes, it is a fantastic opening. Mm. Do you want to give a bit more meat around the bones of what you're smelling, my darling? What do you think? I smell citrusy notes. Yep. And I smell a bit of um, rosy notes absolutely. coming through. Mm -hmm. Straight away. Straight through. away. So it's citrusy and rosy straight away. Um, I know we're supposed to be, get a bit of wood in there, but it's probably a bit too soon. I think it's a bit too soon. Yeah, we'll do the usual. Come back in 10. We're back after 10 minutes. Um, Ingrid, would you like first smell? Oh, it's much, even even nicer now than it was in the in the beginning. So mm. after 10 minutes, Very the nice. rose is so punchy now. It's mm -hmm. so prominent. Mm -hmm. You know, both types of roses, Absolute and, mm -hmm. and Rose May, mm -hmm. they, they're both coming now and blooming. Yeah. It's beautiful. And, and you have the citrusy notes in the background and a bit of woods. Yeah. Not so much of woody notes. No, I, I mean, we've only given it 10 minutes in fairness. Yeah. But... Um, yeah, for, for me, it's actually one of the more punchier Jo Malone fragrances, because mm. I, I personally find them all a little bit light. Um, but this one is certainly rosy, certainly citrus, and the, and the, the citrus is kind of like um, a creamier lemon, which I think is really nice. Yes, exactly that. Mm. Exactly the creaminess that you can detect in it. And it's very, very up my street, this fragrance. Mm -hmm. Lovely summertime, springtime fragrance, yep. um, which, you know, would last you like four hours mm -hmm. on skin. Yeah, sounds good. I think it has got a little bit more longevity than some of the other Jo Malone fragrances that can be a tad light, but they're all very nice. Number four on our list is Pomelo or Pomelo, depending on my pronunciation. Pomelo fragrance, which was um, released in 2011, and it is citrusy, zesty, woody type mm -hmm. of fragrance. We have top notes of... Pomelo Pomelo, uh, which is like a zesty, citrusy fruit, mid notes of vetiver, and then base notes of patchouli. Very nice. Mm. Shall we give it a spray? Yeah, I have a and clean arm here, your... Ingrid. Yes. And go for that mm. one. That's nice. Thank there you, you very much. And would you like first um, dibs on that, my darling? I'm just carefully smelling it now. Very soft, citrusy. Mm. Oh, yeah. Scent. Mm, that's making my mouth it? water again. It's very nice, mm. and it's got oh. like um some earthy, woody notes. Mm -hmm. That'd be the vetiver, just, just, sort just of grassy. The yes. Yeah. So um, it is quite citrusy. I don't want to say grapefruity because I don't really believe it is. It's more juicy, orangey almost. But, indeed, it's like yeah. freshly squeezed juice. That's it what is. it smells mm -hmm. like. Because it doesn't smell of any lemon. It yeah. doesn't smell of any lime or grapefruit. It just. Yeah. It's just. A very nice opening, I would say. Um, we'll come back in 10 minutes and we'll get this uh, chance to settle down. But in initially, very nice. Very nice. We're back after the break. Um, Ingrid, would you like first um, sample? Really nice, warming, comforting, sort of sweet, sub subtly sweet uh, fragrance, isn't it? It's very nice, I mm. must say. Um, from my side of the fence, it's I can't stop sniffing it, actually, and I'm not <laughs> trying to promote lovely. it. I really like it. Yeah. It's just um, maybe I haven't smelt pomelos or pomelos before, um, but it's it's fruity, almost like a, a squeeze fruit, like Ingrid mentioned. Um, it's kind of sweet and citrusy. Um, I don't get a ton of like patchouli in there. It's not really earthy. It's a little bit grassy, but overall, I think it's a really cheerful scent. Yes, but you do have those like a gentle su spices down the bottom There's as well. There's a little something going yeah, on. It's just not mega on. prominent, that's no, all. No, no, but it's really lovely. Yeah, um, performance and season to wear, darling. Performance is around four hours. Mm -hmm. It's not It's not like... A... No, it's not going to be incredible. It's kind no. of fragrance. And, uh, and again, it's summer, summer, spring, summer months, um, yeah. warmer seasons. Definitely. Very nice, though. Well worth checking out. And number five on our list is Rose Petal 25. Ingrid. 
Rose Petal 25, as the name suggests, is floral, rosy fragrance launched in 2019. They have top notes of Rose de May, Rose de May, uh, mid notes of Rose Absolute, and base notes of Ambrette, which is kind of musky, earthy kind of affair. Yes, and I'm itching to spray Come this Come on, itching. Let's get this going. Give it a good spraying for me, darling, because even though we've, we've had a quick cheeky smell coffee beans in the break, because <laughs> you need to do that and reset your nose, but uh, after five, I kind of struggle. You can go first. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, oh. <laughs> it's very nice. So it's very punchy straight away. It's it rose, is. rose, and rose. Obviously, we're not going to get any musk th this soon. It's it's pretty. It's like a bouquet of rose, and it, and it to me, smells quality. To me, it smells like punchy, spicy rose. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's just, I, yep. I, I can feel those like spices in the background, mm -hmm. which, which aren't there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it, it smells very exotic. That's yeah, a, exotic. The there we go. Um, should we let it settle for 10, darling? Yes. We're back in 10 minutes, guys. So we're back from another 10 minute break for you guys. Ingrid, rose petal, number 25. Oh, I'm loving it. This fragrance It's just so mm. different rose scent that you, you wouldn't expect this. Mm. Uh, it's got those earthy, musky notes in the background mm -hmm. entwined with rose yes. essence. It's yeah. just incredibly nice. You Beautiful. mentioned a bit of spice in there as well, and I do yes. agree. There's a little bit of something going on spice-wise in there. It's a very pretty kind of posh rose fragrance, a oh. little bit of earthy musk in there, cheeky bit of spice. Overall very nice. Um, Ingrid, um, longevity when and where and all those kind of performancey things. Yeah, longevity is around four hours mm -hmm. and when to wear is summer and spring summer months, mm -hmm. um, like a garden party. Yeah, daytime fragrance I think. Yeah, yeah it's, just, mm -hmm. it's just lovely. Very, very pretty fragrance. Very nice. So the big question is, which one did we like? Uh, Ingrid, what's your favourite? My favourite is Rose Petal 25, mm -hmm. mainly because it's very elegant and feminine in my opinion. And I'm going for the Pomelo, Pomelo, whatever we're going to call it, because it was just very nice and just a bit different. It was kind of fruity, zesty, sweety, and I just really enjoyed it. So that wraps up our video for today. Um, we hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next video. Yep, take care guys. For tons of exclusive behind the scenes content, early access to all of our videos, VIP fragrance giveaways and lots more, consider supporting us on Patreon.